Gormal 10 lotion contains two types of ingredients, emollients, and keratolytics, which work together to treat or prevent dry, rough, scaly, itchy skin, such as that caused by eczema, keratosis, and xerosis. Emollients soften and moisturize the skin, reducing itching and flaking by forming an oily layer on the skin's surface that traps water in the skin. Common emollients include petrolatum, lanolin, mineral oil, and dimethicon. Keratolytics, such as lactic acid, salicylic acid, and urea, increase moisture in the skin by softening and dissolving the substance holding the top layer of skin cells together. This helps the dead skin cells fall off and helps the skin retain more water. Stronger urea formulations are used to treat corns, calluses, and some nail problems, as well as to help remove dead tissue in certain wounds to aid in wound healing. Make sure to use Gormal 10 lotion as directed by your doctor or as indicated on the product package. Some products may need to be shaken before use, so be sure to check the label. Apply the lotion to the affected areas of the skin one to three times a day, or as directed by your doctor. Rub it in well until it is absorbed. The frequency of application will depend on the product and your skin condition. This lotion is for external use only, so avoid applying it to sensitive areas such as the eyes, lips, inside the mouth or nose, and the vaginal or groin area, unless your doctor tells you otherwise. Be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for directions about any areas or types of skin where you should not apply the lotion. It's important to use Gormal 10 lotion regularly to get the most benefit from it. For best results, apply the lotion after bathing or showering while the skin is still damp. If you have very dry skin, your doctor may instruct you to soak the area before using the lotion. And remember, long, hot, or frequent bathing or washing can worsen dry skin. If your condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to inform your doctor. If you experience burning, itching, stinging, redness, or irritation while using Gormal 10 lotion, it's important to speak with your doctor or pharmacist right away. It's important to note that while some people may experience these side effects, many others do not have any serious issues when using this medication as directed by their doctor. However, if you notice any unusual changes in your skin, such as blistering, peeling, or signs of infection, it's important to seek medical attention. Although rare, a serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. If you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek immediate medical help. It's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed here. If you're in the US, you can report any side effects to the FDA, and in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. Before using Gormal 10 lotion, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to the ingredients in the product. This lotion may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. If you have a history of skin cuts, infections, or sores, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist before using this medication. It's important to note that this medication may make you more sensitive to the sun, so be sure to check the label for any warnings. Your doctor or pharmacist may recommend limiting your time in the sun, avoiding tanning booths and sunlamps, and using sunscreen and protective clothing when outdoors. If you experience sunburn or skin blisters slash redness, it's important to contact your doctor. Additionally, some products may stain or discolor clothing, so it's best to ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details on this. If you are pregnant, it's important to use this medication only if clearly needed and to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It's also unknown if this product passes into breast milk, so be sure to consult your doctor before using it if you are breastfeeding, especially in the breast area. When using Gormal 10 lotion, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. This means that the way your medications work could be affected, or your risk for serious side effects could increase. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. This will help ensure the safe and effective use of Gormal 10 lotion. If this lotion is accidentally ingested, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and experiences severe symptoms such as fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911. Otherwise, 
contact your local poison control center for assistance. In the U.S., you can call 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center for guidance. Remember to never share Gormal 10 lotion with others. This medication can help prevent dry skin by using lukewarm water when bathing, taking baths slash showers less often, such as every one to two days, keeping baths slash showers short, and using a humidifier when the air is very dry. It's best to use Gormal 10 lotion as directed by your healthcare professional, and always follow the recommended daily dosage and optimal timing for the best results. If you forget to apply the Gormal 10 lotion at the scheduled time, you can apply it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next application, then skip the missed one and continue with your regular schedule. Do not apply more lotion to make up for the missed dose. When using Gormal 10 lotion, it is important to store it at room temperature and avoid freezing it. Some products, such as foams, may be flammable, so be sure not to store or use them near an open flame. It is also crucial to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to disposing of the product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. If you are unsure about how to dispose of it, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.